Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Bloom Star Defense 6. I'm back and we have unlocked the Mare Monkey. I have not really looked into it at all. All I've done is I've done the quest before 3 million pops. I didn't want to bore you guys. We're going to try out Mare Monkey. Let's see. Okay, that's just the wrong button. I, I, I meant to press monkeys. It's a magic monkey. And apparently you can place Mare Monkey on land and on sea? Question mark. So we're going to try her out. Well, who I'm going to bring is I'm going to bring Auburn, because Auburn boosts magic monkeys, if I'm right. So we're going to we're gonna do Auburn with Mare Monkey. We also have this knowledge point. Do we have any extra magic stuff? No, we do not. Whatever, we're not going to use the magic point yet. We'll use it later. We're going to start off in... Uh, let's go into... Let's do Cubism, because... Uh, let's find a better map, actually. Skates could be cool. Frozen Over could be cool. Logs, I have a grunt going on there, so I can't really use logs. Wait, we could use Luminous Coal. Let's see, how, is this map good? I'm going to take a look at it. Um, hmm. To be fair, we can test it just on water. You know what? We're going to give it a go. So on land, has they have the, like less range, but on water, it has increased range, which is pretty cool. Let's put Mare Monkey like right here because i want them to have the most range that was probably a bad placement now that i think about it but here we go let's try oh okay wait i've got accessibility all the way down let me increase accessibility there we go okay let's see so right now man monkey just shoots one boat which is okay i guess also wait am i have i done a dom have i done a dom i think i've done a dom i should have played okay you know what we're gonna ignore that we're gonna restart we're going to place my monkey right here. Let's get started. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to only upgrade my monkey. We're going to try solo with my monkey. I don't know if my monkey has cam. I don't know if my monkey has lead. I don't know what my monkey has. But we're going to start. We've got first upgrades we can get is trident efficiency. Let's look at it here. We can get trident efficiency. Acclimation. Wait, sorry. I'm so bad at English. Acclimation to local water. Acclimation, sorry. Acclimation to local water density allows Mare Monkey to attack faster with all attacks. Okay. Trans can put more balloons. Okay. Mare Monkey can detect cow balloons and try to seek their top. Seeking. She gets echolocation. Okay. Let's let's look through all of these upgrades. So efficiency. So basically it gets faster attack. Faster and further. Abyss Dweller. The abyss creature awakens angrily lashing out at balloons with powerful tentacles granting nearby monkeys with a small pierce increase. So Abyss Dweller is more of a boosting. Oats trans in a thick ink that just slows balloons. Abyss creature grows in power, destroying most balloons with ease and enhancing nearby monkeys with more pierce. Damn, the fully unleashed wrath of the Abyss creature bringing the power of the depths to surfs, annihilating most monkeys and generally... Sorry, most balloons and generally enhancing the power of... This is crazy. So basically, top path is a boosting. Um, I see trans are large and can freeze balloons. Mare monkey draws energy from the sea trans can grow in size and power as they travel and crash with devastating force. Trans can pop lead balloons and grow in power faster. L launches a barrage of bouncing ice balls uh, following target priority or targeted point. Damn. Posi uh, pos pop Poseidon's ice jet ability draws such power that a rogue wave floods the map with super cold water, freezing all balloons and reclaiming the weak for the sea. Damn. So it's got ice monkey ability, it's got boosting ability. What's this bottom path? Increases the range for all Echo Sense um, Mare Monkey stacks up to five times. Enhances non um, mob class balloons with hypnotic tune, magically detonating all damage over time effects and distributing balloon movement. Hypnotic tune can affect lower tier mob class balloons and strips camera can be set to echo from a nearby point. The Elder can echo its irresistible tune anywhere while devastating to balloons it causes. It, the cool inspires nearby heroes of improved range and cooldown, and monkey uh, and magic monkey's extra pace. So I think this 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 mere monkey is more of a boosting tower than anything. Let's get echolocation on it. So I want to get some camera detection on it, because why not? Um, it seems like mere monkey is decent, but it seems like it's more of a buff tower than anything, which is cool. Which is I I like that. I like it, but I also think like. Will there be a reason for us to use it? I guess we're going to find out. People are probably going to come out of videos and be like, this is what you need to use it for. This is what you need to use it for. I'm going to get I'm going to get middle path. So I want to get sharper prongs. There we go. Um, Right now, it's 
obviously my monkey's not doing that great because I mean the, the, the whole point of this thing is to boost more than do damage itself so let's put another one here let's just give this guy middle path actually this guy should be top path now that I think about it I'm gonna sell I know that's stupid but I want to get actually should I have sold it I don't know maybe I should have got the bottom path now that I think about it you know what we're gonna get sharper prongs and we're gonna get echo set for uh, precision echo sense precision and we're gonna get echo sense network because we want to get increased range and everything so let's get increased range if we can I mean, currently we maybe we don't need it because i mean we're kind of just destroying everything this map is really cool and calming as well by the way the map's really really cool this also means another map i'm gonna have to black border eventually because i'm lazy and i don't want to do it right now <laughs> So eventually I'll do it. Echo Sense Network. There we go. We've got increased range for one of him. We can get another one of these. And I think this will get times two on both of them. Because the way it's working, I think it gives itself the buff. Depending on how many there's nearby. Yes, there we go. Times two. That's pretty good. Let's get Tidal Chill. Do we need to... Actually, we're going to get tid Tidal Efficiency and Tidal Trident Swiftness. English. English is my city. This is pretty good. You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to come back. I'm going to quickly grind out all of the levels. The way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go to play. I'm going to find a water map that's pretty efficient. Let's try. How about we do? We're going to do Ice Spice. I I'm sorry. I need to stop calling it Ice Spice Islands. But anyway, we're going to go into deflation mode. The way we normally do this is with every tower is I just go to deflation mode on a decent map that works for the monkey that i'm trying to use um what's the hotkey for, for this guy the hotkey for him is what is the hotkey there's no hotkey right now okay whatever we're gonna solve the hotkey later all we'd basically do oh wait look we can put it on the land as well this is crazy we're gonna just spam a bunch of these um with max money in them and i'm just gonna let them do their thing and I'll try not to look at the upgrades too much. I might need to use the upgrades a little bit to get to pass. I'll save my reactions for when I actually do it. And what we're going to do is just going to run this for a while. And then we'll be back. See you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome back. I've actually taken the time, grinded out all max level. I haven't paid much attention to what the, the things actually do. But basically my point of this is going to be that I'm going to try get all of them to, 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 to five. Uh, well, I'm going to try to get one T5 of all of them, and that's going to be the aim. What we're actually going to do is we're going to end up buying two cash drops. Just for this video, because I want to speed it up a little bit. What we're going to do with these cash drops is we're going to start making farms, right? We don't need that many farms, to be fair. We just need a few, so maybe I'll just get like, I don't know. Let's get one here, let's get this. Let's get another one, there we go. Let's get one more for now. And basically the point of this is that we're just going to get some farms down so we can start actually getting the money for the T-Fads. Because the T-Fads actually cost quite a bit. They're pretty expensive. Well, at least XP-wise. XP-wise, they were pretty expensive. I think it was like over like 300k to get all of the stuff. Which makes sense, to be fair. It makes sense. But what I've discovered is that... I keep forgetting the name. Mare Monkey is mostly just a buff tower. So Mare Monkey is not actually like a a damage DPS tower, really. But I guess we're going to find out. We're going to try out Mare Monkey. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it is a damage tower and I'm just being stupid. And I'm stupid. Which is probably true. Probably really real. But let's see. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, okay, we have five farms down. 200. So it's pretty good. Pretty decent. We do have Obin. And Obin's mainly here just to help with some of the earlier runs. And also boost our mere monkeys because we're gonna get them in the water like around here and we're gonna try see how far we can get this map is decent because it has half water half land and mere monkey can be placed anywhere we're gonna only place mere monkey on the water though just because yeah my monkey's better in the water let's get a marketplace up let's actually sell this sell that i'm gonna actually sell a few of them so i can get a valuable bananas one there we go, we got two uh, two marketplaces, one valuable one as one not. That may have not been the most efficient way to do it, but you know what, I don't care, and I didn't ask. Boom, get get boomed on, boom. 
Okay, I'm gonna also get a man monkey right here. This will be our DPS man monkey, so this is gonna be our top part. I have assumed that top part is a DPS. Don't quote me on it. We're also gonna get one of these right next to it. Right there, there we go. And we're gonna get our third one right underneath here. This is gonna be our trio. We're also gonna use like two others to get the full boost from this bottom path. But for now, this is decent. Let's sell this. Let's sell that. Let's get up. Can you? Can you? Can you let me? Can okay. you know what? We're gonna place one here. We're gonna get a value of bananas. We're gonna get another value of bananas. We're gonna wait for this third one. Let's get banana salvage accidentally. Let's get. There we go. Okay, we have a, a few farms now. Um, we don't have camera detection yet, but that's gonna be fine. One of these. One of these actually sort out camera detection for us. Pretty sure that's bottom path. Yep, so T4 bottom path is actually the one that sorts out camera detection for us. We're going to get camera detection over here. Um, we don't actually get it yet. But we are going to get it soon. So hypnotic... Okay, let's actually go through this. So bottom path. First one, it can detect camera balloons and try and seek the targets. Second path, I mean, second upgrade, increase the range for all Echo Sentence mo uh, Mare Monkeys. Stacks up five times. This is the one I'm going to stack five times. Okay, we can go back into the normal game. Alluring Melody. Enhances, entrances non-mob balloons with hypnotic tune magically, detonating all damage over time. Effects and distributing... Um, disrupting balloons movement. So it's pretty good, actually. Um, we're going to sell this, just because I want to get one of these. Let's get a value of bananas. We've also got a central market here. Um, we're just trying to get some money up because we're kind of poor right now. And I mean, this guy is going to do pretty well. What this path does, it makes it so that it pops more. This path makes it so that it attacks more. Which, um, hmm. Hmm, which one is better? I think I'm going to get efficiency on this one. Just because it's one of the ones that are disrupting and more than anything. We're going to get sim uh, symphonic resonance. Hypnotic Tune can affect low tier mob balloon class balloons and strips camo. Can be set to echo from a nearby point. So this is the part I don't understand. I don't know what this 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 means. What does this mean? Oh wait, so I can move I can move where his thing does the special ability now. That's pretty cool actually. I'm actually gonna move it. Um, I'm gonna leave it on him because I like the positioning right now. But we also want to get more damage now because we're struggling again. Let's get a Abyss Dweller. So let's, let's not go through this again. Trident Efficiency. It allows it to attack faster. This one makes it attack faster and throws further. Then Abyss Warrior. Coats Trident in thick ink that slows balloons. Abyss Creatures gr grows in power, destroying most balloons of ease and enhancing nearby monkeys with more pierce. So now all of these will get the, the pierce boost. I also want to get Bottom Path because I want to get Echo Sense Network. Actually, no. We're not going to get Echo Sense Network on him. We're going to actually get... Oops, I got extra upgrade. We're going to get Sharper Prongs and Tridal Chill. Which makes the Tridents larger and can freeze balloons now. But Abyss Warrior. Coats, coats Tridents in Thick Ink that slows balloons. Abyss Creature grows in power. Destroying most balloons of ease and enhancing nearby monkeys with more pierce. Okay, cool. We got that. Let's, let's carry on. Now we're going to get Middle Path, which actually makes it so that Mare Monkey draws energy from the sea. Trans grow in size and power as they travel and crash with devastating force. So I think he becomes more powerful now. The further along he attacks, and he also freezes balloons. We're going to get Arctic Knight. Tridents can pop lead balloons and grow in power faster. He also gets an ability, which launches a barrage of bouncing ice balls. So let's let's get this up. Um, and with that, we've got all tier 4s. We're going to get top path with him. And since these guys are only getting a times 1 boost right now, we're just going to get four in the corner. I don't want these to attack. So all of the, all these they're going to do is they're going to just buff um, the other ones. Because you can place these anywhere and it will give a buff to everyone. I kind of want to make it really fair. So let's get like... Okay, there we go. We've got five. So now they have... Oh, they don't get five boost. Wait, what? Do they, be, do they need to be right next to it to get the boost? Oh, they need to be in the network to get the boost. Okay, cool. Let's sell this guy. Let's get him Echo Sense Network boost. Because I want to get the range. Let's get that. There we go. Now he actually gets the boost. I see. I see how it is. Someone let me know. What's the best upgrade to get? Is it Echo Sense 
network or is it the other one? But this this range boost is pretty nice. We're not going to get any villagers or anything. We just want to see how they do on their own. So this guy kind of sends out an ice wave. Let's get Popsidon. Poseidon's jet, ice jet ability draws such power that a rogue wave floods them up with super cooling water, freezes all balloons, and reclaims the, the weak for the sea. Let's try to use the normal ability. Oh my god. That is so sick. Okay, now we're going to get Popsidon. Popsidon seems so... Oh my god, look at his range. What the hell? Wait, does he just become really powerful with this ability? Damn, like he's destroying that. Oh my god, what the hell? That is a crazy ability. Okay, you know what? I really like that. Let's try and get Lord of the Abyss. The fully unleashed Wrath of the Abyss creature brings the power of, power of the depths to the surface, annihilating most balloons and greatly enhancing the pace of nearby monkeys. Oh my god, he looks so sick. He looks so cool. Plus he gives a boost to the nearby monkeys as well. Oh my god, I kind of love this monkey. This monkey's so cool. I thought he was only going to be a boosting tower, but this seems like he's good. The final harmonic, the Elder can echo its irresistible tune anywhere. While it's devastating to balloons, the cool inspires nearby heroes with improved range and cooldown. And Magic Monkey's extra pierce. Okay, so now they've all got the boost. Oh my god, and they've got Orban boost. I should probably upgrade Orban a bit more. But as you can see, we're kind of destroying it. Like, they're kind of just OP. This is kind of crazy. I wonder, does this boost affect? So this boost doesn't affect them. However, this these boosts do affect them. So you can get this guy's boost, get this guy's a boost. Which is pretty good. I can see like some strategy with Super Monkey being really viable with this. Like, I don't know, you can boost Sun God Temple maybe? I don't know. There'll be something you can do. Let's just get all of these boosts. Because I want to... Oh my god, he just... He just got destroyed. What the hell? So currently, Popsidon is the one that's doing crazy work. But he's also got more range, so he can attack stuff faster. I mean, Final Harmonic's not really getting any play right now. But I don't think that's the, the thing of the Final Harmonic anyway. Let's put it here. This is kind of crazy. We can just use the ability whenever we're struggling. And we're good. Damn. Okay. Oban's nearly level 20. I don't know if there's a secondary Oban boost or not, but you know what? Let's sell everything. There we go. Let's see how they do on their own. There's these three with an Oban boost. Um, I don't really... Okay, so basically level 20 is useless to boost it, but whatever. We have three different... Three of the T5s. Let's see how far they can get. Currently, we're not even struggling even a little bit. And I mean... This range is crazy. What the hell? So he just sucks in the mobs into this thing. That's so crazy, is it not? Oh my god, they just get sucked in like straight away. This is this is wild. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna let it go and see how far we can get. And I'll get be back whenever we're about to die. See you soon, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Looks like round 100 is where we're gonna die. I feel like these guys are really good at dealing with small balloons. Like anything up to a, 
uh, uh, BFB or a ZMG. However, they kind of struggle against BADs because BADs just have too much health. They aren't really that good of DPS towers. They're more of just towers that are supportive. Um, so yeah, this is kind of where we die. Like, May Monkey with Pop Poseidon is crazy. May Monkey where the Lord of Abyss is decent. May Monkey with Final Harmonic is a great support tower, but this is about where it ends. We can't make it past this. This is pretty much where we lose. Ignore the Discord notification that did not happen. But as you can see, pretty good tower, I would say. I feel like it's more, definitely more of a support tower than anything. So I feel like the final harmonic will definitely be useful. Can you stop messaging me, guys? Um, Lord of Abyss will be decent for giving the buff, Pierce buff. But apart from that, I don't think I don't think there's much use of it. I'm waiting for the Paragon. The Paragon will probably be crazy, by the way. I, I hope the, the Paragon's like Poseidon or something. That would be, oh my god, that'd be so cool. This tower is so cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, road to what K subs, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.